So I am going to be reviewing Looking for Alaska by John Green. Now um, this book starts out with the main character, Miles, who um, affectionately gets nicknamed Pudge by his roommate the Colonel because he's all about nicknames. Now Pudge, as he's called for majority of the book, um, has just started out at a new boarding school um, where he has met the Colonel and also meets Alaska. Now, Pudge has grown up kind of in a, you know, safe kind of growing up situation. He hasn't really been exposed to a lot of things, but through Alaska and the Colonel, he gets introduced to a lot of different things, um, such as smoking, drinking, you know, normal boarding school stuff. Um, but he also is given a, a chance to kind of like learn about himself and kind of grow some, um, while also having a crush on Alaska. Basically, that's what I'm going to... It says in the back there's a before where it talks about just kind of his experience and then it says after. Nothing is the same. So, um, overall, just to give my non-spoiler part, I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved it. Um, it definitely brought up back my um, feelings of, you know, wanting to read more John Green books, whereas after An Abundance of Catherines, I really was kind of questioning whether or not I even wanted to continue with this book, which I'm so glad that I made myself continue because this book was 100% worth it. So from here on out, anything I say can and probably will have spoilers. So um, if you do not want to have spoilers, just click out right now. Um, I won't be offended. I totally get that. I sometimes will not watch review videos if I feel like I'm going to be spoiled. Um, so I totally understand. So in this book, um, Pudge kind of is having these experiences scanning to meet these people that he wouldn't have really known and see different things like he goes with Alaska to um, the Colonel's Thanksgiving where he gets to see why the Colonel is the way he is and he gets to, you know, experience things that he wouldn't have known if he didn't go to this school and a lot of the time if he hadn't met the Colonel in Alaska. Pudge is obsessed with people's last words. Um, so any kind of president or famous person, you can usually ask him and he knows who, what their last words were. Um, and I think this kind of, you know, connection with death and passing has kind of like kept him just kind of like a little off kilter from the normal human being, but um, it actually ends up helping him cope because, and this is a main spoiler, so if you do not want this book ruined for you and you were like, I don't mind spoilers, if you do not want this book ruined, click out now. Because the main event, it's counting down this whole book um, to a certain point and where it's like instead of chapters it'll be like 28 days before, 10 days before, 5 days before, 4 days before. And it's counting down to Alaska's death. Um, Alaska dies right in the middle of the book um, because she drives into a police cruiser. So there's an after part. But um, she had felt really guilty for a while because her mother had passed away when she was a child of a brain aneurysm. And um, for a split second, her father blamed her and she has carried that blame her whole life. And Alaska had forgotten to go get flowers and go to her mother's grave on the day that her mother had passed away. and. Um, she decides to take her own life. So after she has, um, after she's passed away, Pudge and the Colonel and the kids at the boarding school are trying to cope with this. And the Colonel and Pudge just can't grasp that Alaska would end her own life. So they do some investigation. They find out that she was super drunk. Um, and they're trying to basically test out if it would have been possible. And then they're, one of their classes turns to uh, taking Alaska's midterm paper um, and a question she posed, and that's their final, is they have to basically comprehend how those words affect them. This book does contain some darker topics such as suicide and death, um, but it's such a unique and in-depth story that you can connect with on so many levels. Um, that I definitely would recommend reading this um, as long as death and suicide are not going to affect you. 
So um, my phone keeps going off, so I'm going to wrap this up real quick. But um, overall, again, I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Definitely recommend. I will definitely be reading this again in the future. Um, and I'm very glad that I made myself pick this back up because it was 100% worth it. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, as always, leave them down below. And if you have a review on Looking for Alaska, I'd love to read it. So either put it in the comments down below if you've read it, or um, I will link my Goodreads down in the down bar um, and connect with me on there. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! That's the word I was going for. This book. This book. This book.